Hello friends. I hope all are very well. I heartily welcome all to my Pauthigam channel. Before watching this video, if you are not subscribed. After watching this video, if you like, then share, subscribe, and press bell button to get updates from my channel. Let's, move into today video. This video about, what are the top 10 reasons to believe the Wuhan Virology Lab caused 2019 NCOV. The official story is that 2019 NCOV began in a fish showcase in Wuhan. Unclean creatures sold there were conveying the infection, Chinese researchers have proposed, and, subsequently, some unfortunate customers wound up getting quiet zeros for a worldwide emergency. You've likely previously heard that clarification previously, and there's a decent possibility you've acknowledged it as a reality, however there are some glaring issues with it. For a certain something, the primary patients with 2019 NCOV have no association with the market at all. They lived close by, and they seemed to have spread the malady to individuals who went there, however the genuine patient zeros never really ventured foot within it. Likewise, 2019 NCOV was accepted to have begun in bats, and this was a fish showcase. No one was selling bats within this market. Bats simply aren't something individuals in Wuhan ordinarily eat. Indeed, even China's researchers have begun moving in an opposite direction from this hypothesis. To cite one straightforwardly, it appears to be certain that the fish advertise isn't the main birthplace of the infection. But to be completely forthright, we despite everything don't have the foggiest idea where the infection originated from. Many individuals have highlighted the Wuhan Institute of Virology, which is only a 30 minutes drive for the fish advertise. In any case, if that is too far off for you, another lab inquires about bat coronaviruses that is significantly nearer, the Wuhan Center for Disease Control and Prevention. It's not simply on the opposite part of town. It's on the opposite side of the road. The Wuhan Center for Disease Control and Prevention isn't only a managerial office. Researchers were inside that building effectively leading exploration, remembering reads for coronaviruses in bats. A great deal of analysts in Wuhan were. It had been a significant task for the city, and the Wuhan Institute of Virology invested heavily in. They were at the bleeding edge in exploring the reasons for SARS, and it was their scientists who had demonstrated that the last SARS flare-up started in bats. They had to look at an awful lot of sick bats to do it, though. Researchers had been gathering bats infected with the coronavirus since at least 2012, and they were focusing on ones that could spread their illness to human beings. There were several bats in Wuhan's labs when the 2019 NCOV episode began, and the scientists there were learning in any event 11 new strains of SARS-related infections in them. And, yes, they were doing it across the street from the place where the outbreak started. The coronavirus that's spreading around the world at this very moment has been called, novel, because it's unique. It's different from past diseases, like SARS. About 30% different, to be exact. That is not only a number we pulled out of our heads. Researchers have contrasted the hereditary arrangement of SARS with 2019 NCOV, and they've discovered that they're about 70% comparative. That is a harsh number, the genuine one may be somewhat higher. Be that as it may, the genuine number most likely isn't 96%, which is the rate coordinate researchers have found between 2019 NCOV and a type of the coronavirus conveyed by bats within the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Be that as it may, hold up a moment, you state. On the off chance that those bats had the infection, there were most likely bats all around Wuhan that had it, isn't that so? Afraid not. 2019 NCOV isn't just similar to bat coronaviruses in general, it's similar to a very specific strain of bat coronavirus carried by bats in the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Not every bat coronavirus has that 96% match, in fact, when another lab compared 2019 NCOV to their own bats, the closest match they could find was 88%. Furthermore, those bats weren't nearby. On the off chance that you were living in Wuhan and you truly needed to discover one of those bats, you'd either need to go to the virology lab or to the spot those bats had originated from, Yunnan and Zhejiang. That's a little over 900 kilometers away. All right, so a malady lab was investigating ailments. What of it? That doesn't demonstrate that it at any point got out, right? While it's profoundly improbable that the Wuhan Institute of Virology intentionally tormented its own kin, it truly wouldn't have been that difficult for someone to get it by accident. Imagine if a bat assaulted a scientist and, in the mayhem, violated its well-being onto his uncovered skin. Or on the other hand suppose he got a piece excessively close and got bat pee on his body. Or on the other hand envision both of those things happened to a similar individual not well before the 2019 NCOV flare-up started. That is actually what occurred. As indicated by a report by Chinese scientists Botao and Lacio, an analyst named Junwa Tian portrayed these precise encounters in a meeting with the Changjiang Times. Junwa Tian claims he isolated himself to shield from spreading these illness. However, regardless of whether he and his partners utilized each conceivable precautionary measure, it's conceivable that the infection despite everything could have spilled out. One thing we've learned since the flare-up is that individuals can show no side effects at all and still be tainted. 
What's more, as indicated by an ongoing report out of Japan, individuals who have recouped can in any case convey the infection. Obviously, it's likewise conceivable that the staff at the Wuhan Institute of Virology simply didn't utilize each conceivable precaution, it wouldn't be the first run through somebody's left a Chinese virology lab conveying a savage affliction. It's occurred previously, actually, it once happened twice in a solitary month. On April 4, 2004, a postgraduate understudy working at a virology lab in Beijing was determined to have SARS. She had gotten tainted while examining the infection, and, ignorant that she was wiped out, ventured into people in general and practically caused a second outbreak, that's really awful, yet makes it out and out unnerving that, after 14 days, another postgraduate understudy working at precisely the same lab did precisely the same thing, that's not simply careless. As indicated by researcher Antoine Danchin, it ought to in fact be impossible, normally, it's impractical to defile individuals much under level 2 repression if the security rules are complied, he said after the episode. It recommends there has been some misusing of something, the lab may have quite a few standards, however the individuals may not go along. In case there was any doubt, the Wuhan Institute of Virology definitely had postgraduate students on staff. We can confirm that because, on November 18, 2019, shortly before the breakout, the institute put up a job posting asking for postgraduate students to help study the coronavirus in humans and bats, that's not exactly out of the ordinary, but the description in the job posting is a little disturbing. It says that they were particularly interested in molecular mechanisms that let coronavirus lie dormant for a long time without symptoms, sound familiar? That's one of the distinguishing traits of 2019 NCOV, the fact that people can go around without any apparent symptoms and still spread it. 322 of the people on the Diamond Princess cruise ship tested positive without symptoms, and there's proof that those asymptomatic people can spread the disease. In fact, one woman is confirmed to have spread it at least five people without showing any symptoms of her own. The staff at Wuhan Institute of Virology didn't simply take a shot at fixes. They likewise invested some growing new, super-infections of their own. In 2015, two specialists at the institute partook in a global investigation drove by American researcher Ralph Barak. The objective? Make another coronavirus with the capacity to taint human beings. If that seems like an odd objective to you, you're not the only one. A noteworthy piece of established researchers was shocked by this experiment. The just effect of this work is the creation, in a lab, of another, non-common hazard. Scholar Richard Ebright fought when the work came out. French virologist Simon Wayne Hobson concurred. In the event that the infection got away, he cautioned, no one could foresee the direction. As indicated by a dubious report out of India, a few parts of 2019 NCOV have uncanny similitudes to HIV. To be completely honest, this current examination's gotten a reasonable level of investigation. A few researchers have addressed whether it utilized enough information to be factually noteworthy, and they've obliterated it enough that, now, the examination's creators have pulled back their work. Be that as it may, while their work may be problematic, that doesn't really make it wrong, and there's a smidgen of proof to back it up. HIV drugs are ending up being amazingly compelling in treating the medication, and most patients are indicating low white platelet tallies, something that doesn't occur with some other type of coronavirus. That is frightening, on the grounds that analysts in the Wuhan Institute of Virology have dealt with or led considers joining SARS-CoV and a HIV pseudovirus in bats and people. There's no hard verification that the 2019 NCOV is a man-made infection, however on the off chance that researchers ever discover evidence that it is, there's a great deal of motivation to be concerned. Irresistible Infection Authority Daniel Lucy found the opportunity to audit the archives and information China previously possessed when 2019 NCOV broke out, and he came out of it confounded. Their official story, he stated, simply didn't make any sense, China more likely than not understood the pestilence didn't begin in that Wuhan Wanam fish advertise, Lucy told the press. Maybe he was correct. Maybe someone in Wuhan realized that the story didn't make any sense in any event, when they initially declared it. In any case, in the event that they did, they were compelled not to say anything regarding it. On January 2, 2020, the day after the Wanam fish advertise was accused for the infection, the Wuhan Institute of Virology conveyed an exposure carefully, restricting revelation of data. On 2019 NCOV, some researchers have made some noise in any case. A decent piece of this article, for instance, draws from an examination by the National Natural Science Foundation of China called, The Potential Roots of 2019 NCOV Coronavirus. It probably won't shock you to discover that, not long after that review was discharged, the socialist government put forth a valiant effort to pull it off the web with as much life as they are utilizing in endeavoring to stop individuals alluding to the infection as a Chinese infection, or as they, Wuhan influenza. The greatest indisputable evidence of all came straight out of the mouth of President Xi Jinping. On February 14, 2020, President Xi gave a discourse on the need to contain 2019 NCOV. 
Chinese, he stated, requirements to gain proficiency with our exercises, so we can fortify our territories of shortcoming and close the escape clauses uncovered by the pestilence. While she was never totally unequivocal about how those escape clauses were to be shut, he announced his arrangement to push through another law for biosecurity at research centers, explicitly focusing on the utilization of organic operators that may hurt national security. The following day, the Chinese Ministry of Science and Technology lined up on Xi's discourse with another mandate entitled, Directions on Fortifying Biosecurity The Board in Microbiology Labs that Handle Progressed Infections Like the Novel Coronavirus. There's just a single microbiology lab in all of China that handles progressed infections like the novel coronavirus, it's the Wuhan Institute of Virology. At this junction, end today video. We will meet on next video. If you like this video, press like, and share. Subscribe, and press bell button to get updates from my channel. Thank you.